Hi guys, welcome back to Down Under Thailand. Just a quick one. What is your favourite way of getting around in Bangkok, if you've ever been there? For me, number one has to be the Samlor, the three-wheel trike, like you see in the video right now. Lots of fun. You go anywhere and everywhere. Traffic jams don't seem to hold them up much. And you're on a very sort of grassroots basis of moving around. You have motorcycles going past you and cars going past and you weaving through the traffic. Heap of fun. Love it. How is it for you? Maybe you'd like to put it in the comments. If you've been to Bangkok, have you experienced the Samuel? I enjoy them. For me, definitely, I think, number one. But moving on from there, there are other forms of transport. Um, something that's probably not necessarily unique to Bangkok. A few cities are similar, but it's got to be the water taxis on the canals. Uh, they are absolutely brilliant. As you see here, I've got uh, a picture-in-picture of, of two separate trips. But uh, you can see all the the people in the water taxi <laughs> having trouble thinking what to name them but water taxi is what they call them though there's a lot more than just uh, yourself and a few people in a water taxi um, primary way of getting around for very very many workers and obviously tourists too they can be a great solution especially in rush hours or high traffic period because they're not restrained by traffic jams and traffic lights and the Chao Phraya River and the canals in Bangkok do actually kind of loop around in Bangkok so there are canals going close to, to many many places you might wish to go and they sidestep any of the, the blockage you get in high traffic periods and you can actually get somewhere a lot lot quicker by using the water taxi and then maybe at the destination station that you stop you still got a little way to go but you can take a Samlor or a, a, a normal taxi or BART bus or whatever and get there a lot lot quicker than a singular drive or singular ride in a taxi on the road they're good fun you get to see, not well, as you would in the car, but you, you get to see a little bit more of the scenery because uh, you, you, you don't have a fixed horizon of the window of the car to look out. You can see the stops, you see people getting on and off. Generally, they, they really scoot along, as you can see, they make a bit of a bow wave. They tend to have a, a large diesel motor in a box on the deck you don't get to see it. it's supposed to be soundproof but they really are and they're thumping away and uh, you get up quite a pace you know where there's a decent distance between stops when you pass other water taxis the canal can as you see um, have quite a lot of waves on it from the bow wave of the other ships it doesn't seem to upset them too much and uh, they're pretty well into sort of knowing what to do in those situations. They know when to slow or to speed up to make the ride safe and, uh, and comfortable. Just saw one pass just then. So, you know, I, I love the water taxis. They're a real experience and they add to the flavor of Bangkok. They add to the, uh, the time you're there. They add a bit of color and it's out in the fresh air. Um, as you know, uh, Thailand's sort of in the tropics and sure you get rain, but the majority of the time it's, it's usually dry when you're, you're out and about, and especially on the, the water taxis. Maybe you put a vote, upvote or downvote for water taxis. I hope you enjoy them. Of course, there are other forms of, of motivation, I guess you want to call them. They have BART buses, which are usually pickups with a cage on the back and seats either side. You pay a, a very nominal fee for those. 
Uh, the other ones are the, the, the general um, transport buses. Absolutely thousands of them in Bangkok. A lot of them are very old, there are some new, but uh, they do a particularly good job of bulk moving people around as the, the water taxis do. But um, then you have your general taxis. Well, yeah, they're good, they're cheap, they're an effective movement around. As I said before, high traffic periods. The traffic drivers are pretty pretty well in the now as to when and where to go. Um, they may make detours to avoid heavy traffic areas. They may go up on the tollway, uh, give you the option to go there to make a quicker journey by getting up above the general traffic on another sort of freeway or highway. Um, it's up to you. Still, Bangkok's a very open uh, sort of city. Sure, they have lots of skyscrapers, but Bangkok is spread over a very, very large area. It takes you a good couple of hours to to cross the city from one side to other in general sort of transport. And consequently, as you look out here, uh, most of the roadways, freeways that are, are going any distance, they're all raised up from street level. And sometimes two, three, four, five stories, some even higher. So that can be very interesting. But um, your horizons and the scenery aren't blocked out by um, side to side skyscrapers, etc. They do have them, but they're not so congested and blocked against each other like other cities like New York or Hong Kong or, or many of those places. So I really enjoy Bangkok. It's good fun. And getting around can be a challenge. It can also be a great deal of enjoyment. And you can just chill out and enjoy the world as it passes by or you pass by it. So thanks for watching. Just a short one, just to fill in. And we'll catch up with you next time. Any comments, sure, put them down below. Let me know what is your favorite mode of transport when and if you've been to Bangkok. I'd love to hear from you. Bye for now, guys.